guys! So today I wanted to create a look using only Maybelline products. I shot with Maybelline this week. I shot some videos with them. It was so cool and I can't wait for you to see the end result. And that's why I decided to film a video using the Maybelline products that I got. I hope you enjoy the video and let's just go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Okay, so um, as you can see, I have nothing on my face right now. I also wanted to show you how I do my brows using a Maybelline product. The product I'm going to be using is the Maybelline Brow Satin. And it has a spongy side. It also has a little pencil side. I'm using this little handheld mirror. So I can see, so if that's in screen, I'm sorry. But first off, brushing through the brow. And I'll only show you one side because I, if I have to film both side, sides, that's going to be taking me forever. And this is my good brow. So going in with the spongy side, just because that helps a lot with how fast you can work fill in most of the brow i really do hope i'm in focus i've been playing around with uh, the focus on my camera and i can't really figure out what setting is the best setting for the focus because i find that most of the time it focuses on this side more than on this side. If you have any tips on focusing, let me know. All right. Now I'm going in with a new Maybelline palette that's available from this November, I've been told. It's called the Countdown Palette and this is what it looks like. Starting off with this shade right here. So I'm going to be blending that onto the outer corner and the crease and I mainly want the look to focus on that beautiful gold shimmery shade so that's going to be your main focus but starting off with that orangey shade on a Morphe M514 brush I already went ahead and primed my eyelids but I didn't use Maybelline product so I didn't want to include that As you can see, the shades are super pigmented. And I really hope I'm in focus. Now I'm going to blend out. Just windshield wiper and circular motions. Because I do want it a little bit darker, I'm going over top using this shade. It's a little more it's not that red in person. It's a little more brown. Going in with a more detailed brush, the Morphe M507, and placing that on the outer corner. Really pressing that on first to get the most of that pigment, and then just putting that into the crease, and then blending. going in with the gold glittery shade right there can you see how pretty that is already no not that good <laughs> when you find that the glitter doesn't really pay off as much as it should try using your finger and you can see how much payoff i'm getting from that and it, this doesn't have to be perfect i'm not going for that perfectly sharp look today what i'm going to be doing now is wipe away the fallout do the other eye um, apply mascara and lashes and then i'll be back 
to finish off the face and under the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think everything is on. I hope everything stays on. But for now, I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And I'm almost running out of this foundation because I love it so much and I use it so much. Okay, trying to not cover my lips for today. I always cover them, but it looks so strange on camera. So just blending, blending, blending. Uh, for concealer, I'm using the Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer. Blends out really nicely, so don't be afraid. Also some on the chin. I'm going to be setting the rest of my face using this one. The Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I think I'll finish off the eyes first so we have that done and then we'll continue with the rest of the face. So for the under eyes, this one and that one. Going to be applying a lower lash mascara really quickly off camera and I'll be back. Okay, so as you can tell, I just apply lower lash mascara, bronzer and blush off camera because I don't have those for Maybelline. And now let's continue on with highlighter and lipstick and then we're done. For highlighter I'm using the Master Chrome Highlighter in Molten Gold. Great. Using the Maybelline Gigi Hadid Tora Lip Liner. And for lipstick I'm going in with this Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid in the shade Nude. Nude Thrill. So now that the lipstick is on, I think this look is complete. I really hope you enjoyed me doing the full face using only Maybelline products. I couldn't use all Maybelline products because I don't have things like a bronzer or lashes, whatever from Maybelline, but I used all the products I could find from Maybelline in this video. If you have any other video suggestions or things you would like me to film, please let me know in the comments and I hope to see you in my next video.